<laughs> Dearly beloved, we're gathered here together in the sight of God, the presence of this company. We join together this man, this woman, in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate. And it's instituted of God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, commended by St. Paul to be honorable among all men. It is not therefore to be in lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, soberly, and in the fear of God. In 2 Genesis it is written, And the Lord said, It is not good that a man should be alone, and I will make him and help me for him. The Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. He slept. He took one of his ribs, pulled it up, flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he woman, and brought her into the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman, because she was taken of man. Pilate, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise before God and these witnesses? that you will love, honor, and cherish her, and that forsaken all others, for her alone, you will perform unto her all the duties that a husband owes to his wife, until God, by death, shall separate you. Julian, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish him, and that forsaking all others, for him alone, will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God by death shall separate you. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Mother of God. I mean, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Since it is your desire to take each other as husband and wife, you will please indicate this desire by joining your right hands by repeating your marriage vows. I, Tyler, take thee, Jimmy, Tyler, take the to be my wedded wife, to, be my wedded wife. to have in the hold, to have it to hold. From, this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for, or for, worse. for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, <laughs> till death do us part, <laughs> according to God's holy orders. I, Jillian, take thee, Tyler, I, Jillian, take thee, Tyler, to be my wedded husband, <laughs> to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, According to God's holy orders. According to God's holy orders. <laughs> Tyler, what token do you give as a symbol of your affection, sincerity, and fidelity? Jillian, when you receive this ring as a token of Tyler's affection, sincerity, and fidelity, when you wear it as a symbol of your own affection, sincerity, and fidelity toward him. Put the ring on her finger and repeat the vow of the ring. <laughs> this ring I give thee, this ring I give thee, in token and pledge, in token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith and, abiding love. and abiding love. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. and with all my earthly goods, I thee and all. Jillian, what token do you give? I the symbol of your affecting <laughs> Tyler, will you receive this ring as your token of her affection, sincerity, and fidelity toward you? Put the ring on his finger. Repeat the vow of the ring. This ring I give thee. This ring I give thee. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And the body and love. With this ring. <laughs> with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my earthly goods. And with all my earthly goods. I thee and I. I think it's For as much as Tyler and Jillian 
have considered together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and have thereto given and pledged their faith each to the other, and declared the same by joining their right hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Tyler and Jillian, you have just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings and the exchange of vows. Timing your way, just let me this know. This covenant yeah. is a relationship pledged between two people who agree that they will commit themselves to one another throughout their lives. The most beautiful example of this partnership is the marriage relationship. You have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. Today, this relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand. One representing you, Tyler, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And the other representing you, Jillian, all that you were, and all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist. But you will be joined together as one, just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. I present Mr. and Mrs. Tyler and Jillian Dilbert.
Hello. Take, turn that off, please. I'm not in the wedding party. We are not in the wedding party.